Hello and welcome to the third video in our webinar series Getting the Most from Your Reading Six Steps to Success. In the previous videos we talked about developing positive feelings about reading, reading with a purpose, being a selective and smart reader and in this video we're going to look at being efficient and focused in our reading and uh, some active and effective strategies. So being efficient and focused. At the end of the last video we talked about using the topic sentence as a way of scanning quickly through the text to find out the ideas of different paragraphs. And when we understand that paragraphs are built in a very similar structure, we can understand how to read quickly. So a paragraph normally has a topic sentence which has the main idea. It's quite often the first sentence. And all the sentences that follow after that will add further supporting information and, and further evidence. And so we can use that as a strategy to skim and scan. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in the rest of this session today. But if you want to refresh paragraph structure, you can um, find some of those resources on the Learning Center website. So being efficient and focused. One way to be efficient is to read without stopping. So sometimes we come across the meaning of a word, we don't know exactly what it means and we stop and we look it up. This isn't very efficient and if we read on a little bit further we often find that the word becomes clear in the next couple of sentences and we can use that as a strategy. Of course we can also underline unknown vocabulary and check it in a dictionary later on or at the end of the paragraph. Sometimes we find that people that are quite anxious might keep skipping backwards in the text to reread sex to make sure that they have understood what was said previously and this kind of thing can really slow reading down and so it's quite helpful just to continue reading and not keep checking back and checking back and checking back and if this is a big problem for you you can cover previous parts of the text. Another strategy is to be a very active reader, becoming more involved in what you read. And a way to do this is to write down some questions about what you're looking for in a text before you start reading. So those questions could be related to the topic, what you're interested in discovering on a particular idea. They might be related to the title of the text. And as you're reading, you're looking to answer your own question. After you're reading, you can um, try and answer those questions and review in the text where you got those answers from. Uh, another strategy is to make notes and this is to collect the key point of text. Making notes is very different from taking notes. So note taking is simply the process of copying down what you've read or what you hear in lectures and tutorials. Whereas note making is where you have to think about what is important, what is relevant, what do I need to write down. I'm not going to write down everything. I'm going to be selective. And so it's a process of summarizing or highlighting information. When you make notes, you're asking yourself a series of questions, beginning with, do I really need this information? If so, do I need all of it? Or can I select some parts? What information is important for me to have at this time? And what am I going to use the notes for? Uh, is it for an assignment? Is it for an exam? Is it for my knowledge before a lecture? So we're making notes with a purpose. We're not just writing down everything. Let's talk about being active and effective. Taking excellent notes is really, really effective, but it's also really active. And this means, as we've just discussed, summarizing and clarifying and not writing everything down. And a way we can do this is to read for meaning. So we're reading a chunk of language and that could be one paragraph from a text or one subsection. Then we can close the book so we're not copying word for word and we can think about what's the what's the general message here what's the overall message writing that down in our own words means that it's not possible for us to plagiarize later on if we're looking at our notes and, and adding them to our own assignment and it also helps you to clarify what you do or don't understand if I can't write something in my own words or if I can't say it in my own words I haven't really understood the meaning yet and I need to go back and clarify another strategy that we can use in taking excellent notes is to very clearly organizing our notes under headings or subheading. This helps us stay on track and we can see where our gaps in knowledge are. While investigating a text, we can underline any word that we don't understand and look up their meanings either immediately or 
sometime after. We can also highlight or underline important parts of the text and then write some notes in the margins as to why this is an important section. Or we can use our own template or a notebook and we can constantly ask ourselves how am I going to use this information? Why am I actually noting it down? What's the purpose of it? Am I going to put it in an assignment? In the case of using it for an assignment which is often written there's a couple of strategies that we can use. So in purposeful reading one strategy is skimming which we talked about a little bit already. It, it's a strategy of getting a really quick sense of whether this particular text is going to be useful or not. We keep our topics title or question on a piece of paper in front of us and we're always referring to to that and asking ourselves, is this text related to my topic or to my assignment question? A really quick way of skimming is what we call top and tail, and it means to read the first paragraph and the last paragraph of the article or chapter, and we read the topic sentences of each paragraph along the way. So we're not reading the whole text, and this gives us a skeleton of the text. We understand what happens, the bones of the text, but we're not reading in a lot of detail yet. We're looking for key names, could be names of authors, could be names of theories or concepts. We're looking for useful words and phrases. This will help us to understand whether or not it's worth reading the text in further detail. We can read critically and with purpose, and this means being an active reader, and we've talked a lot about that and how we interrogate the text to find meaning. And we use those critical questions that we formulated before we started reading or that we formulated about our assessment when we started to plan. It means that when we're reading, we're really reading with a purpose where we're trying to find answers to our questions to further our understanding on a particular topic. If you're not sure about formulating these questions, there are some really interesting beginning questions you could ask yourself, like why am I reading this? What am I looking for? How am I going to use it? Where will I use it? Which part of my assignment will it help me with? Another thing we need to think about is how do we know when to stop reading? There's so many articles and so many textbooks we could in theory read forever. So how do we know when to stop reading? We know to stop reading when we've addressed all the different elements of the questions that we brainstormed at the start and when we've gathered enough strong evidence for our topic but also counter evidence if necessary. If you can explain all of the arguments and all of the claims in your particular assessment area in your own words, it's a good indication that you've got enough information and that you understand the concepts of the topic enough to stop your reading. Of course, another thing to think about is you have a time limit. Assessment is due at a certain time and so if you've got a deadline, you have to stop reading. Here are some links to resources that might help you um, as you are reading academically. And please remember that the Learning Centre is here with a number of different types of resources to help you, including the website and the Learning Advice Desk.